Hello there, stranger. Welcome to Talon's Oasis. I hope uh, your isolation is going okay. <laughs> if it isn't, that's what this episode is for. Hopefully it'll make it a little bit better. Um, so we're right now down in my mine, insta mine area. As you can see, it's very mined out. And the only areas that aren't mined out are areas that have lava. <laughs> Uh, so basically, I've gotten all the resources from around here, which, you know, was a ton of resources until last episode. As you can see, I may have teleported myself below the ground into the void. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's pros and cons to using command blocks. <laughs> this is command block survival, though, so I have accepted those risks. <laughs> um, and now... Yeah, I just got these out of my backup shulker box. I think I have some... I don't remember how many are in here. Yeah, there's not very many anymore. Quite a few shovels, because I never use shovels. <laughs> anyway, we're pretty light on the resources right about now. In fact, redstone, a vital component of command blocks. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Seriously? This is the biggest bummer of what happened last episode. I had my redstone shulker box on me. And it had probably a stack or two of redstone blocks in it. More redstone dust. It, there's command blocks. And now I have this. Which I just made. Yeah. <laughs> so we need redstone. We need redstone really badly. Uh... Really, really, really badly. If we want to do anything in this world, we need redstones. So, that's what we're going to do today. Maybe. We can always change our minds later. <laughs> but, I think we will yeah, go find Henry. Do I have Elytra? Oh, I do. I have quite a few backup pairs of uh, equipment. So that's not really a big deal. It's more the fact that the redstone is gone. You know, apparently my skill at flying Elytra got taken away too. But yeah, I think we're going to take Henry on an excursion and maybe go find some redstone. I cleared a bunch of my chunks when 1.13 came out so that it would generate the new oceans. There's like this tiny little box around my base that doesn't have the new oceans, but everywhere else does. So that means that it generated a lot of, I assume, whatever this thing is. I'm betting it's from 1.13. Ooh, we're also getting to where I wanted to go. We're going to pick up the beacon from here and then... Or we might be able to mine redstone from here too. Either way, this is where we want to be. Let's check out that thing though. <laughs> you like Henry? Because <laughs> I really do. This, this uh, lever thing, I don't remember if I showed it off. I'm so excited that I'm going to show it again. But basically, down here, there's a, a hopper chain. And there's just like one little item that's going through it, and then it'll trigger if this thing is on. It's pretty cool. Also, we're probably overshooting it. <laughs> Bop. Okie dokie. Oh, it went one more time. That's okay. So what is this thing? Just like a little tower? Huh. Sometimes I think these things can have chests. Which... Could be good. Oh, I hear dolphins. Oh, I should have brought, uh, I should have brought my snowballs. Then we could catch some mobs. That's the other thing I did, actually, between this episode and last episode. I finished up... Oh, God. oh there is a chest. Aha! I finished up the mob catcher thing, so it can actually detect every single mob. Wow. That is horrendously oh wait i don't have any coal <laughs> okay it's not as bad as i thought <laughs> normally it would be garbage but uh i don't have any resources so you know Ow. but yeah i can catch every single kind of mob with the snowballs now so that's pretty cool let's go head over to the beacon so this is my clay base it's where I get the clay uh, for the recipe of the command blocks. If you're not familiar, 
have custom recipes for command blocks that require terracotta and redstone, which is how we're able to do this whole series. Here it is. Yeah, so terracotta, redstone, and then iron, basically. So, yeah, I, I end up needing a lot of terracotta from here. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a haste one beacon somewhere around here. And haste, the cool thing is, oh, the beacon's over there. Okay, dokie. I thought we were right by it. Maybe this is my clay base. Maybe I have two. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, the chest and all this stuff is over there. This is just a different area. I think I put it over here because it uh, allowed the beacon to cover more area. Show. Whee! How deep is this? Oh, it's only 60 blocks deep. Okay, so we could move this down all the way. I think that's what I'll do. Okay, so we got the beacon down. We're at Y11. So we this is like the perfect level to go mining. We only have haste one, but hopefully we should be able to find some redstone and maybe some diamonds too, because honestly, I'm going to need to make a bunch of tools and go enchant them. I mean, losing... The, losing your whole inventory in the void is just, it's its a really big deal. And if you had shulker boxes, then it's an even bigger deal. So, yeah, this should be good though. <laughs> the sad thing is I need coal. That's like the really sad thing. Out of all the things. Actually, I think I have coal back at my base. Maybe I don't need it that bad. But here, I do need it because I only have seven. And I'm going to need a lot more torches. Oh, that was fast. We found a cave already. That's good news. Maybe we can explore it together. <gasps> Redstone. Okay. Oh my goodness. I don't have a water bucket. I have iron. I found some iron on the way down. <laughs> what? I've never seen anything like this before. That's so much redstone. Wait, does redstone spawn more often in uh, mesas? I know gold does. I don't really care about much gold. Actually, we should, you should remind me, we should eventually do something like have, have a recipe require gold because I don't feel like it gets used enough. Well, unless you make golden carrots. Just trying to dig away around. Hopefully this will be safe. Yes. Nice. All right, this is gonna be a good start. I don't know if I even own a fortune pickaxe anymore. Actually, let's check real quick. How, how much in the hole am I? That's the real question. Oh, I do have a fortune pick. I cannot believe it. That's probably my... That's my last pick. Oh my goodness. Dude, I did not realize how how much of a beating we took. I was like, ah, you know, whatever. I lost, I lost some stuff. It's fine. But man. Ooh, 36. Not too shabby. All right, let's see how much we get total. A stack and a half. Oh boy. Just for reference, that makes probably, let's see, one, one block of redstone per command block. You can make like nine blocks per stack. So that is roughly 14 command blocks. That is not very much, but that's okay. We will find more. Also, you know, it's funny, I think that I was saving this before for using it to, like, detect if people stepped on it. Because uh, if you, this is actually a cool thing about redstone ore, if you place some, and see when I landed on it, there's those particles showed up. And if we wait a little bit, the particles will go away. I think there's even a way, I don't have any uh, observers, 
but I think observers can detect it. I'm not 100% sure about that though. Yeah, I was saving it because you can put like uh, carpets on top of it and then you can just make it be, yeah, okay, so the particles went away and then particles. Actually, I wonder, okay, Henry's fuel is in the way. Let me clear that and then we can look and see if the, uh, if the, what is it? There's like block stuff, block data, block. I'll, I'll show you in a second. Sidebar. Pop. Okay, so if you look on the right, when I look at, yeah, see how it says lit and then false? Yeah, so it's actually a block information thing. Oop. See, now it's true. It literally changes some information about the block. Anyway, so you can, I'm gonna keep a little bit of it, maybe, that's probably plenty. Um, and then we can, I don't know, maybe make some cool thing. Maybe make like a pressure plate, except for it looks like a carpet. So it's like nicer than, a, nicer looking than a pressure plate. I don't know. Anyway, that's more redstone. <laughs> yeah. Aha, more, more redstone. Yes. Nineteen, not too shabby. Okay, I'm actually starting to get suspicious now. So I just found more redstone, and I've I've been going a ways. Like I haven't really gone that far. I have not seen any lapis. I have not seen any gold. I have not seen any diamonds. I've seen a tiny bit of iron, but basically it's all been redstone. And I'm pretty sure I'm in the mesa still. No, I'm in the mountains. Okay, so maybe I'm just getting stupid lucky. See, because I was starting to, like, wonder if maybe it's based on biome. Because I know, like I said, I know that the... Oh, we found gold. Okay, so we actually did find a different ore. More redstone! I, <laughs> I mean, I'm happy. Don't get me wrong, but... If there's, if there's a way to, like, guarantee finding more redstone, I want to know about it, you know? There's a biome where redstone is more common. I would love to know about that. I might have to uh, Google it. See, see what pops up. Aha! I do believe we've found a cave. There was bat chirping, so I dug straight toward it. Although, conveniently, it was kind of just already on the path. <gasps> was that diamonds? I think I... Nope, it's emeralds. I don't really need emeralds. Although our villagers are broken, there's a lot of things in our world that are broken, which is good because we can fix them. And it's fun sometimes. One emerald. Wow, I got gypped. There's some coal there. I might pick that up in a little bit. Let me light up the area first. Nope, there's lava. So there's some iron. Don't really care. I have a ton of iron actually, so. Wow, this is the lamest cave. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. One coal and the <laughs> It's so dumb. There was literally a single block of coal. I fortuned it and I got one coal. And one emerald, and then there was like four iron. That is literally the worst cave. <laughs> if there wasn't a bat in it, it would have no redeeming qualities. But the bat counts as a redeeming quality because they're adorable. So there's not really much point in a haste beacon at this point. I'm so far away. But I do hear some lava. I think it's coming off from this side. The left side. <gasps> okay, at this point I'm pretty sure I'm just getting stupid lucky. This is actually ridiculous. Please tell me this is bigger on the inside. That's going to be a no. Here, let's uh let's go a little bit farther and see because sometimes 
little trick for caving. If you find an exposed area like this, and you're looking around, it's like, oh, it's lame. Well, notice there's a block underneath here, right? But there's no block underneath here, so there's a chance that it can open up a little bit. <laughs> Look at that. Pro Minecraft tips right here, even though I can't pronounce the game name. Please tell me this is a better cave. Emerald. Lapis. Okay, we're finding some new stuff. Alright, this is a decent cave. Where are you going? He was like walking backwards. Into the corner. He was frightened of my lack of gear. It, it scared him deeply. I have basically no wood. <gasps> like those reactions. <laughs> I surprise myself sometimes. This should be enough for a stack of torches. It's funny, like this far into the game, I'm getting excited about caving. Because I just lost everything. Oh my word. Well, not everything, but the important stuff, aka redstone. Man, this is a big cave. This is a good find. Look at the what I found. We got some diamond. Oopsies. Didn't want to break it. It's kind of pointless because I just have to place it back and then... Uh, fortunate. New recipes unlocked. Do you mean I can smelt this one diamond ore into one diamond? What a deal. Nice. Okay. Fortune pickaxe is doing its job. For once. Seven diamonds. Not, oh wait, there's more. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Get some lapis as well. If I had space in my inventory for anything. There we go. Nice. I have not gone caving without a water bucket in so long. It's like a whole new level of, or not a new level, but like, it, it reminds me of the days before I was smart enough to carry a water bucket. And it's terrifying. Try and mess around. Because normally, like, I just put a water bucket, it all turns into obsidian, then I just la 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 la, run off across everything. What in the? Oh, this is where I came from. <laughs> I was so confused. Oh. Wait, no, that's where I came from. Did I somehow meet back up with myself? And how did I miss this? I'm very confused. I guess this is where I came from. Huh. Well, it makes sense why I would have dug this way, because there's redstone. I don't know. I'm lost, probably. Uh, I guess we got a ravine. Problem is, I'm running out of torches. There's a, there was a skeleton and a spider there, in case you could not tell. Ow. I don't appreciate it. Maybe I should get some lava buckets. Or, 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 we do the poor and destitute trick. How do I have so much junk in my inventory? There we go. Aha. Ta-da! What do we got? Pretty normal ravine. Oh, there's gold. Somehow I walked past it. Even though I don't know that we need it. <laughs> Get out of my inventory. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? Ooh, water. Ah, what? He just soared down from the ceiling. <laughs> what in the world? Dude, I cannot see though. I'm sure you guys can't see any better than I can. Oh, there's redstone. That's a bonus. Might make sense. Uh, I don't remember if I finished my thought, but I might make sense to grab some lava. And that way... We will have a light source that we can kind of just spread around. Ooh, the cave gets even bigger. Nice. Mm. Get my 
good amount of redstone. Oh! Lucky there. Lucky there. What, what do we got here? 21! Very nice. I have no light. I cannot see. Oh. Am I crazy or do the mushrooms give off light? Kind of seems like they do. Light one. Nice. Aha. I made a furnace and we have enough iron to make a bucket. Mwah. And there's water up here too. Somewhere. Aha. Beautiful. So we're all out of torches, and I just had this cool idea for uh, lighting up an area without torches, since we don't have any wood. And look, if I place it down, ta-da! It gives off actually light. So I can like use a couple of these to light up an area, temporarily of course. And then I'm like picking up the coal, and I'm cooking the iron, and I go back to the area with the crafting table and stuff over here. I pull out my shulker box and stuff like all my diamonds and the emeralds. And I made a bunch of lapis blocks out of the lapis that we collected. And then I'm looking around. Oh, cool iron. Oh, we got a ton of food. Nice. Cool. Oh. There's wood in here. It's, uh... Apparently I thought ahead a lot more than I knew I thought ahead. So that's cool. But then it makes this whole cool idea worthless. So I had to show you it first. Because <laughs> it is kind of cool. I feel like you could probably trigger... I don't know. I wonder... Hang on. We're going to test something right here. For no reason other than I am curious. If you pour water into this... Okay, it doesn't trigger. What if you drop an item on it? Oh, it does. So you could like... You, you could make an area turn on by dropping... This seems like overkill probably, because if you have the redstone signal to... I don't know. It, it might look cool. You could just have a room that has a bunch of these redstone ore blocks and then have it all of a sudden turn on and it would turn off by itself. That'd be kind of cool. Anyway, caving is going pretty good. Just to give you an update, this is the redstone box. We're getting a pretty good amount of redstone. We'll actually have to start turning it into redstone blocks soon, so that's good news. Look at this. I, f I found the little mushroom area again. I don't know if I showed that before, but they, they were giving off a little bit of light, but look at what I walked past. Redstone! Only one. Lame. Oh, never mind. Not lame. Very unlame. I would describe it as unlame, if such a word existed. <laughs> look at this thing. It's still here. <laughs> Weird. Hey, you want to see a cool trick you can only do in the Java edition? So there's some gold up there. I can reach that gold. But if I am... I am one block lower, I cannot reach it. However, if you jump... Look at that. I'm not clicking anything, and it holds the block breaking, like, percentage for a little bit. And so you can break stuff. It's a really useful trick to use on trees when you're, um, when there's one that's a little bit out of your reach. Oh my goodness, I almost just jumped into lava. <laughs> um, and so you can, like, break the last block in a tree. Pretty useful. It's a little bit nicer than having to tower up and then break it all back down. 
little, little tiny bit speedier. We got a little uh, tunnel here and some redstone on top. We'll get the redstone and then follow the tunnel. I'm actually starting to get a little bit worried though. Or not, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be. But this is my only Fortune 3 pickaxe that I know of. <laughs> I might have so one somewhere else if I stored it in a different place. But I kind of doubt it. So that means that we have 482 more uses of Fortune. Which is not going to be enough to last us for the rest of the wor this world's existence. We'll need more uh, Fortune eventually. Even if we don't need it for this one, we'll need it long term. So I think that we might be able to do some enchanting. Look at this. This really opens up. With all the lapis and the diamond that we found. I wasn't really looking for diamond or lapis, but obviously if you see it, you take it. So I think that could actually work out pretty well in our favor. Uh, rip. Look what I found. I don't know what kind of dungeon this is. I'm really hoping it's a skeleton. Oh, I think it is. Okay, this is actually kind of bad. Because you know what else we lost when we got teleported beneath the world? We lost my really super good bow. So, maybe we could get one back by wrecking these skeletons. And I really hope I don't die because I am very far away from home. I think. Maybe. Oh wait, I don't want to do that. Let's look in the chest. <gasps> Two redstone. That's pretty garbage. <laughs> Let's give ourselves somewhere to hide. Maybe I should eat something. Heal up a little bit. Excuse me, skeletons, would you mind walking towards me? Thank you. Big fan, big fan. This does have looting three and smite, apparently, which is probably why I didn't ever use it, because sharpness is just better. Although now that I'm thinking about it, what does sharpness even affect that smite doesn't affect? Spiders, maybe. Because I've been like two hitting everything. It's been very nice. Actually, one hitting some things. Oh, I guess sharpness would affect, um, ow. Bop. Sharpness would affect, <laughs> uh, like cows and stuff if you're killing, um, cows for meat or something. That is a garbage bow, and I do not want it. One of them dropped, what was that sound? Ooh, what is this? So easily distracted. That's me. All right, we got ourselves a enchanted bow. Oh, <gasps> it's punch one. That's lame. I just finished my caving run and I get met by these guys, Ooh. which is actually perfect because as you may or may not recall, the fuel for Henry is these phantom membranes. Only I had space. <laughs> uh, sure. Actually, I should have got rid of the flint. There we go. Huh? Ow. Those guys hurt. Let's see if we can take this guy out. And then we can go take a look at the loot that we have. Whee! Okie dokie, here we go. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Ta-da! Look at this. That is a lot of goodies. Also, I was using my fortune pick on coal, and I stopped doing that. <laughs> 475. Yeah, so look at this. Let's turn some of this into, we don't want to turn all of it, into blocks, but let's just see <gasps> a stack of redstone blocks plus 12. 
<laughs> nice. All right, now how does our redstone chest look? Wondrous. Wondrous. Absolutely wondrous. Let's see. Do we have any... Oh, wait. We're right. We're right. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. All right. Let's make a lot. Way too many iron doors. Let's grab the blocks of redstone. And... Oops. Oh. Wait. That's all? Hang on. I know I have more blocks of iron. This is not, we didn't get these today, but we did get the redstone today. Oh my, might've been too many. No, it's fine. <laughs> All right. Yeah, 64 plus 19 command blocks. Now we can actually start making command block stuff again. That is awesome. So I guess the only thing left to do is I need to go enchant a ton of tools. Yeah, get some of this stuff enchanted. Okay, so apparently we ran out of fuel for Henry, so I just turned the uh, thing on. You can turn it on and off. There's a, uh, there's a link in the description. You can actually download the whole structure file for Henry and play with them in your world. It doesn't have to be command block survival. Um, yeah, anyway, so with the phantom membranes we got. Let's see how much fuel. Nice. That should be enough to uh, get home. We're pretty close. So, All right, so let's transfer this to permanent storage because carrying it in the shulker box seemed to have been a very bad idea. And there we go. Redstone chest is full again. I put the command blocks in here as well. So we're doing pretty good on resources. Very happy with that. Alright, I couldn't end the episode without actually uh, doing some enchanting here. And look at what else I found. I found this blue shulker box in my ender chest, and it's, I called it repair shop, so I assumed there wasn't anything good, but I think that these are supposed to be combined. So there's a fortune three here, and then there's a mending book. So we can probably, there's probably supposed to be a trident here, I assume. <laughs> And then we got some really good boots, and also a Frostwalker. So we can repair some of this stuff, so that's actually really good news. And then we can enchant some stuff. We're level 36, so we should actually do the enchanting first. That would be the most efficient, if I made it here. Get rid of the Enderman sounds, even though they come back. <laughs> This Enderman farm is the stupidest, it was, it was kind of a dumb idea to make it in the very center of the Ender Island. I had to do so, 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 so much. Like, lighting up everything and like going under the island to try and fix it and, oh my word. Alright, that should be good. Now they're all lying on the floor. I have no inventory space. All right, let's see if we can get some good. All right, we gotta go. All right, here's the pick. Oh, that's uh, pretty good. Unless that's the only thing that's on it. Well, okay, that's pretty awful. And breaking three again. What about what about the sword? Smite. Smite doesn't affect creepers. That's what I couldn't remember. So, I mean... Really? Are you kidding me? Sweeping edge. That's cool. Alright, let's just do it. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Knock back two. No, I'll pass. Let's see. I'm about to just make an absolute mess of everything. <laughs> Shove all that in there. Alright. Let's see how much it costs to repair these. Then we can get an actual, actual nice pick. 21 levels, that's expensive. But it'll give it mending. And I think the point here, oh, should we repair this? Or should we? This is gonna be my only mending pick. Maybe we should put it on here. Oh, 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 oh. 
Too expensive. Too expensive? Wait, can we even repair that? Oh, wow. Ripperoni. Alright, let's do this then. Nice. Mending, and then... Not mending. That's pretty cool, though. <laughs> That's kind of a bummer. This literally has one durability. Wow. Well, maybe if they change the game somehow. I'll just leave it in there. It's actually a pretty good view from here. That's like the one plus of building the ender farm inside of the main portal. Or I mean main island. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Sort of like an epic water castle. I think enough should have spawned by now. We need to hit level 54. And then we should be able to enchant. I actually found some some good news. <laughs> Metaphorical good news in uh, the chest. I found this diamond helmet. Or no, I found this diamond helmet. Which has respiration 2. And then the one we're wearing has respiration 2. Ta-da! Respiration 3. And then we also would have enough. Boom! To put uh, mending on these boots. And then I think if we put them in the slot like this... Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, look, our current boots have protection for... That's it. No feather falling, no depth strider, no protection of... Or no unbreaking, so it takes forever. I mean, it doesn't take for... It's the opposite of what I'm saying, just, you know. <laughs> anyway. Nice! Sweet, I'm really happy with that. Yeah, so we got a, all of our stuff repaired and uh, we got this mending fortune three pick. That's super cool. We got a ton of command blocks that we will definitely be using in the future. I have some pretty, actually while I was caving, I got a few ideas, so we'll see. We'll see if any of those pan out. But for now, I think that is going to do it for this episode. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you next time. Later, stranger.